Hey everybody, welcome back to Fishing Louisiana. And uh, today's video, we're gonna continue our uh, rod build here that we started. Um, I uh, haven't had a chance to get back to it yet. I built a couple other rods in the process of uh, the time that we were waiting to get this video done. So, uh, without any uh, further waiting, let's uh, jump right into this. We're going to, our next process of this uh, build is we're going to lay out all our guides here and uh, put the tip on and uh, start putting our guides and wrapping this uh, rod. This is a bait caster. Um, this blank is... Um, in my last video, I said it was six foot six, but this manufacturer don't make a six foot six blank. The smallest blank they have is a uh, six foot ten. So this uh, blue rod here is a six foot ten rod. So uh, let me adjust this uh, camera, and uh, we'll we'll get on that. I'd like to put the tip on before I do my layout of the rest of my measurements. So we'll, we'll do that right now. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, let's get our tip out, and this is the tip glue here. Um, I've got, you make sure you've got the rod straight up and down, and uh, it is perfectly uh, straight right now where the tip will be facing up. So now that we got that out, we get a razor blade and we'll just cut some glue off of uh, off of this um, um, glue. We we'll cut some glue off of this glue stick here. I just uh, I cut down it here. start a new one I just like to cut the glues I'm gonna get a couple little pieces of this and then we'll put this uh, glue right inside We'll put this glue right inside the tip and uh, once you heat this up it'll all melt together. Don't look like enough in there. I'd rather have a little bit too much than not enough. So we're going to cut a little bit more off of this stick here. Yeah, we've got a ton of glue in there now. I'll save this other little piece of glue. I'll put it over here. Put it over here on the tray. And uh, we'll save that for our next tip. Now, like, we'll ever run out. This thing's a monster. We can get a lot of glue out of this. So... turn the camera so we can see the tip again and now what we will do is we'll get that glue nice and hot it'll start to bubble in there there we go it's bubbling and now we just slip it right onto the tip here
make sure we're still straight up and down. And that's uh that's that. We've got the chip glued on. Put this, this candle back. So that's process one. We've got the the tip on the on the rod. We'll let that sit up here for a minute. It dries. It, it cools fast. Once it cools, we can continue on. So what we'll do is we'll lay a rod down here on this ruler I have on the table, and uh, we'll lay it down. right next to everything and as you can tell we got the chip is right on zero I wrote down how I want to lay this out I wrote down the measurements I want to use so I'm gonna get my black china pencil here. And we're just gonna go down it. And it says the first one is gonna be two and three quarters. So we'll just get a mark on two and three quarters. And then our next one is gonna be six inches. Mark it six inches. We got nine and five eighths, and we'll just go right down this thing. Thirteen and seven eighths. got all our measurements on there we'll set this up and back in the rack here and now uh, now we've got it back up in the rack and we're gonna get our guides hooked to this pole you can use tape or you can use the the guide glue we're gonna set, bring this camera over here Let's get this camera set up again. Okay, so now we got this rod set back up. We're going to make sure these marks come all the way around the top. So that we can see from either side. Mark down this thing real quick. And then we'll get this process go in here all right we've got all those rods marked our first one let's move this camera down a little bit our first guide the first guide is going to be in here so I normally use tape, but um, in this circumstance, uh, 
I want to try out the the glue stick. So we'll get our torch back out and uh, we'll heat this up. We'll heat this chip up. We'll get our glue stick out here and uh, what we'll do is heat this up a little bit and then we'll get some glue on it. It didn't heat it up enough apparently. tape but um this is what it's for so i can't imagine it not working and then we'll just go down and uh the rod in the same process of uh, putting these guides on all of these rods all the way down. So let's just keep moving. Keep moving with this along and uh, see what we get out of it. Problem, the only problem with the glue is it's not very forgiving. So uh, you have to uh, keep moving. And once you set that, once you set that glue in place, it, uh, it holds good. I mean, you can take it back off, but if you try to move it, it's just gonna come off. Couple more here, three more to do, and uh, this process will be done. Two more. And all I'm doing here is heating this up in the flame. Get that hot. That's an alcohol burner I have. And I just run it across that glue stick. And then uh, just set it on there. This one might have dried a little too fast.
that's that. Now we gotta put our hook keeper on. Let's see if we can't show that process real quick. Our hook keeper is gonna go right down here. So we're gonna do the same thing. I like my hook keeper on the right side of my rod. So what we'll do is we'll do the same thing. We'll get this hook keeper. We'll get it hot. Get some glue on it. And then we'll just set it. Down here. And that is that. And now we've got all our guides on. We're not going to go um, lining them up now. I have a laser coming in the mail. And when this laser gets here, It'll shoot a red line all the way down that rod. It mounts right into the real seat. Let me uh, get this camera over here. <laughs> 